pieces welded in. And if it looks like it's got a little angle to it, where it kind of like comes out and splits, this one's straight. This one kind of comes at an angle because that's kind of how this is. This is straight and this kind of comes out at an angle. So that's what I'm trying to replicate. Okay, here is the after, but not completely after, because I'm not done yet. Um, yeah, put this piece in, put these in, this in. So this, I had to cut out so I could get to this. I'm gonna put it back in here so we can get the little compartment door back on there. But I'll weld that back into place after I get it cleaned up. And this right here, I have kind of mocked up this, uh, I don't know what this piece is called. At. So I kind of have it mocked up generally where it would go. Of course, I had to I cut this piece out because it was just completely rusted out. So I'm going to replace this and it's going to come around, tie into here. And then I'm going to get another piece of square tube just like this that's going to run up connect up here where I have another piece of square I'm going to do the same thing that I did here up here and then I'm going to connect these two and that's what this will go to um, yeah it's looking really good so far I was pretty intimidated when I first rolled it out here but man it looks a hundred times better already I haven't messed with this side yet I did it I started cleaning the rust off to here, but as far as this part goes, I haven't messed with it. Big challenge is gonna be making sure that this is lined up right for the door. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna grab the door and just kind of set it in place somehow so I can make sure this is in the right spot, but that's later on down the road because I still gotta rebuild this part first and then I'll mock up the door when I go to tie them together so I can make sure I'm welding that tube into the right spot here, not too high up or too low or whatever. I mean, I can, I can lift up this and it's solid as a rock, so I'm pretty excited about it. So this is slotted in the back so I could put a, a nut through here. I'm gonna drill a hole same way they got this set up for the body mount. Now I get this piece ready to go back in here. This will bend back down.
out of wire. Got this piece back on. I didn't attach down here because I want to be able to move this a little bit of flexibility in it so I can work on that end. Once I got that end looking like this, I'll tie that, I'll weld that in, tie it in. Um, yeah. Pretty happy with it so far. Let's move over here, start working on this. Coco. Can, can the dogs be out here? No, I don't think they're going to like this loud noise. Huh. Hey. Hey. Boy, good girl. Oh, careful, you're going to cut yourself on this metal. Can you put them inside? I don't inside, think dog. Stop. They're, they're not going to like the hammer in, I don't think. Looks like you're still wearing your PJs. That'll work. My glove's got a hole in it right here. And this piece is starting to come off. I mean, I thought these were good, I don't know. Like, what do people that are professional welders wear? Because I haven't welded that much, really, if you look, really think about it. And they're already breaking. Very disappointing. Dad, yeah? The back wheel doesn't have any air. The what? The, my back wheel doesn't have any air. Alright, bring it up here. Is it squish? Because look. Take it. Well, it was the hole. Alright. So. It was right there. Press it on there. Hard. Hard. Press hard. There you go. Right there. Are you going inside? No. Alright, well I'll hurry up because I'm about to weld and you can't be standing right there. Because I'm going to start putting my stuff away too. 
tumbleweed garage.